what's up everyone welcome back for another video here on my channel thank you as always for coming back and joining me on another video this is you guys first time in my new little car so this is her i'm not gonna really give too much of a detailed tour but this is the inside um a lot of people were asking what car i got this is a chevy sonic it was a nice compact car it was affordable so i am loving it the name of this car is lily we are staying in theme with my harry potter characters inspired by lily potter so yeah this is her and her name is lily but anyway that's not the point of today's video i am deciding to do another vlog you guys it's been a minute uh the people who liked the vlogs they really enjoyed them and this weekend i felt like okay let's go ahead and give it a try so if you are new here first off hello my name is monet if you don't know i am 25 years old and here on this channel we really just talk all things budgeting i show how i use the cash envelope system and i show how i am eliminating my debt so definitely go check out some other videos see if you are interested and be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family because we would love to have you all right so um as i said this is going to be a vlog i'm not really sure how i'm going to do it i want it to be like hanging out with me and a spend with me to see how i utilize the cash envelopes in real life because i still get quite a few comments asking like how to use it and how do you make it work in the real world so that is what i'm gonna attempt to try and show with this video but really it's just like some behind the scenes so you guys can hang out with me and you know just get to know me a little bit better than just my typical budget videos so be sure to let me know if you enjoy these type of videos and i will do more of them but today is saturday it is what is it february 26th i believe i just filmed my cash envelope stuffing and i just got paid so i am ready to spend on the saturday morning i have quite a few errands that i want to get done so that's why i thought it would be fun to film and see how the day goes i am going to start off with going to the post office this is my bag with the orders that I'm about to ship it's real sunny right here but um, I'll show you a clip of me I woke up this morning and I put all of the things in the bags and I just want to get those shipped out and ready to go and then when I come back later on I'll continue working on more orders but I just want to do my errands for the morning so yeah let me stop chatting let's head to the post office and we'll take it from there prices are today it is always a mystery and always depressing when you see it but it has to be done so I'm on the way to get gas and then I'm also like tackling a project in my house if you know me I'm like a huge organization freak like I love to organize things and put things where they need to be so I'm working on my closet in my bedroom right now and I'm also trying to organize like this little laundry cart that i have going on in my bathroom i'm gonna swing by probably like burlington to look at some things that i can use maybe like some storage bins or something you know just to organize that so it looks a little bit better so that's the plan for today so i guess i'll talk to you guys once i'm at the gas station this is why I stay at Costco I mean it's packed it's normally always busy but 
it is worth the wait for the price you get. I'm driving down the highway. The gas prices are $3.65, $3.70, $3.72. And I know when I come to my Costco, they never fail. Gas here is $3.35. Mind you, still high, but it's not $3.72. This is why I just keep my money on my debit card and come to Costco. And that also ties into a lot of questions that I get about the cash envelope system where a lot of people ask me, what categories do you take out in cash and what categories should they just keep on their card? And like I say, it's personal, it's up to you. You decide what's worth taking cash out for and what is worth just keeping it in the bank. I keep my cash for my gas in the bank because it's just more convenient for me because Costco does not take cash and I know I'm gonna come here all the time. I always suggest to take out cash for things that you have trouble spending on, like things that you typically overspend on and you wanna try and dial back, take out cash for those things so that then you can put yourself on a limit and say, once this envelope is empty, that is it. No more spending on clothes, no more spending on makeup because it is not in the budget. Okay, and there we have it. The receipt is very much faded, so I'm not sure you if you can actually see, but the price of the gas right here we see is three dollars and thirty-five cents. And then in total it took me twenty-eight dollars and sixty-five cents to fill up my tank. And hands down, another bonus of Living in Jersey is not having to pump your own gas because it is cold, honey. So God bless the people who be out there pumping my gas for me. But yeah, as we can see, we're on a full tank. We love to see it. And make sure you keep the receipt for everything that you purchase, you guys, because these are points on Fetch for cash back, basically, that you can get back for spending money anyway. done with Joann's I popped in I was in and out very quickly literally the only thing I get from Joann's are my Cricut mats they're always on sale and I seem to only find it they're the cheapest I only spend like ten dollars for the two 12 by 12 mats so I am always looking for a deal so if you guys can find it anywhere cheaper or get it anywhere cheaper be sure to let me know down in the comments so now we're literally just going to go right to the other side of the plaza and we're going to go to michael's and in there i'm going to pick up some cardstock if they have any and basically just you know some more supplies that i'm going to need for my shop Hopefully that's all I get because when I go into my goals, I tend to look around, buy a whole bunch of things that I do not need. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, you guys, you should be very proud. I did not overspend on anything. I went into Michael's and got exactly what I needed, but I did not realize such a good sale that Michael's was having today. All of the car stock is on clearance. I mean, I normally always come to Michael's because they always have that 20% off coupon, but now that the card stock is only 25 cents or 50 cents, for ones that I typically pay 79 cents, 80 cents for, I'm gonna swing by another Michaels and collect some more cardstock because we know I use all of that in the shop. So if it's on sale today, oh, I'm going to get me some more. But while I'm over here, I am going to go by Burlington, like I said, and let's hope that they got something for me to work with because I really just wanna 
be done with these projects and move on with my life. Okay, so if it's one thing I know for sure is that I'm always going to find something at Burlington to walk out of that store with. So they did not fail me. They had exactly what I needed in terms of like the storage containers that I wanted to use to form within my little laundry cart project. So thankful for that. And then I also had a gift card to Burlington. So I bought me a new comforter set for my bed and that basically covered the entire um, gift card for the comforter and then everything else I bought with my cash. Next on our stop is going to be Walmart. Walmart, I'm going to pick up some more things for my shop, like shipping things when I want to package up the product. And then I'm going to also get my um, conditioner for my hair from Walmart because I can get it cheaper there. All right, you guys, so we are back at my house. I've been here for a minute. I came in, ate some lunch, and I relaxed a little bit, you know, just unwind. I put on my robe because it's winter and I need to be comfortable when I get into my house. So don't mind that. But I'm in my closet right now and I thought I would just show you guys quickly the things that I bought because it's difficult while I'm shopping to show you guys exactly what I'm getting and where it's coming from. So we'll just do a quick, you know, recap and explanation of all the things that I bought. So the first place we stopped at was Joanne and I got my Cricut mat for, you know, my little Cricut. Next, it was going to Michael's, and I just picked up um, hard stock for, you know, the products that I create on my shop. When I went to Walmart, I picked up some things. I get my ribbons that I like to package my products in. I get just a big old pack from Walmart. They're literally like 49 cents. Can't beat that. I also pick up these clear bags, and this is what I package my cash envelopes in. So now we'll get into things that I purchased out of toiletries. So I got me some conditioner from Tresemme. I bought me an exfoliating washcloth to, you know, exfoliate your skin. I picked up some deep conditioner. I really don't have a preference when it comes to deep conditioner. I pick up a random things, but this was the cheapest one. So this is what I got today. Okay, so now these are like little miscellaneous things that I took out of spending to help me organize and complete the projects that I was talking about. So what I'm going to tackle once I'm done explaining what I bought to you guys is organizing my closet. It's just not to my liking. I feel like it can be more organized and I'm just trying to, you know, spruce it up bit by bit because it does cost. So I picked up some drawer organizers. Then I picked up this little storage caddy from Burlington and it was on clearance guys. This was like six dollars. Can't beat it. I also picked up another one of these sliding drawers. This also came from Burlington. It's an organizer. I already have three of these, but I can use one more. And I've been on the hunt trying to find this at Burlington. And I found one today. And it was also on clearance for $3.49. This was definitely something extra that I really didn't need. But, you know, when you're in the queue line and you see things, I am a sucker for, you know, picking up things that I really don't need but this was a candle I thought it looked so cute so that's what made me pick it up but then once I smelled it uh, I don't know what the scent is I want to say lavender but it's amazing and it's pink so it really fits the theme in my room and then another miscellaneous purchase I got is um what is it called dish rack for the kitchen and then as for the big purchases that I did 
I got this comforter set from Burlington. I opened it up in the store and I felt it and it felt amazing. And I just love a nice clean white bed. So I am excited about that. And then this is the other big purchase that I got. I got this uh, drawer organizer that I'm going to put in my closet. I originally picked up a white one, but what I really liked about this is that it's not see-through and it's pink. So that's a bonus for me. The theme of my closet is white and pink. So I thought this was perfect. So yeah, that's all of the spending. It doesn't seem like a lot, but yet I was out all day. All right, so really, you guys, for the rest of the night, I'm going to just organize my closet and get things to where I would like it. And then I'm going to work on my little cart and organize that in the bathroom. And that should be it in regards of all my spending that I'm going to do for the day. And then we can just pick this up tomorrow. Okay guys, so I wanted to update you all on my closet progress. I did get a few things off of Amazon that finally were delivered and I added them so you didn't see them when I was originally organizing them, but it's been a couple of days. Um, So yeah, it's just looking a little bit better. I still have my dresser here with my perfumes, my hangers, and like you know little miscellaneous things that I think would just add to the closet. I absolutely love this shoe rack you guys i got this off of amazon and it is heaven sent it organizes everything and really just ties the closet together because my main problem was figuring out where to put all of my shoes so i love this this is my laundry basket and then over there is just my suitcase with a few of my clothing that i like to keep hung up i also went ahead and also bought this I got this from Walmart, just as you know, for some extra storage. These boots and everything, I'm still going to get like clear boot bins for my boots. And then I'll put them away. But for right now, this is just where they're sitting. But these will be put away. Up on top, I just have my pink bins that, you know, just hold what I need to hold. And then some more over there. I got these from Target. And I got these pink ones from Burlington, but I had them for a while, so I don't know if they still have it. And then over here in this little corner, I had the pink one, as you guys saw, but I replaced that and got a white one. The Walmart that I was at, they didn't have white, but then I saw white, so I just exchanged it. And I think the white just makes it a little bit better. I'm still working on like how I want to organize the top, but... For right now, that's what it is. And then I purchased me some more bins that I put on these shelves. And then up at the top are just like my extra comforters when I want to change out my bed. So yeah, that's just my little progress on the closet. I really like it. And yeah, you guys, that's that. morning everyone it is the next day it is sunday let us check the date february 27th this is my michelle obama calendar i love it 
But um, yeah, we need to go grocery shopping, you guys, because you want to see something so embarrassing. Look how empty this fridge is. Empty, honey. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and restock on that. It is so early in the morning, but if I don't do it in the morning, it's not going to get done. So let me go ahead and wake up because if you can hear from my voice, I'm not all the way woken up, but once I get outside in that cold, I'll wake up. All right, guys, I am just about ready to go. I just have to do one more thing. What is this on my counter? I just have to do one more thing and it is the secret, y'all. I'm gonna put y'all on to a secret. This is how you exceed on staying on budget with grocery shopping. Make a list before you go and stick to it. <laughs> That's the secret, you guys. Literally, that is how you do it. So I'm about to just make my list real quick of things that I need and this is all I am going to get. All right, everyone, so I am officially done with my grocery shopping. I put the food away and I treated myself to some breakfast as a reward. It's just a bagel with bacon, egg, and cheese. And then I got me some juice on the side. So I'm going to eat after all of that work and then we will see what the rest of the day holds. Okay, everyone, update. Um, it has been a very uneventful Sunday. Excuse my cricket making all that noise in the background. But um, as we can see, I have just been working all Sunday. So I didn't go out. I didn't spend any money. I've just been here trying to um, finish working on these orders. So it's a terrible way to end the vlog. But that is just what my weekend consists of so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video getting a little bit more behind the scenes um just seeing what i do as always i would really appreciate you guys leaving your comments down below let me know what you think of this video give me any suggestions if you enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really does help and support my channel and if you aren't subscribed yet and you find this interesting then be sure to subscribe because i would love to have you but with all that being said guys thank you so much as always and i will see you all next time in <laughs> the cricket is so loud i'm sorry and i will see you all next time in my next video bye guys